Hi everyone, so today we're going to be making homemade glass candy and we're going to try something different. We're going to make this marbled glass candy and I'm just going to read off the ingredients that you'll need. You'll need two cups of granulated sugar, half a cup of light corn syrup, half a cup of water, half a teaspoon of flavoring, which we have two here. We have... Uh, we have Watkins banana flavor and pure lemon. We're going to go with the lemon flavor today. You'll need um, you'll need food coloring and powdered sugar. We have a big bag here. This is just to help it with not being non-stick. And also, I have some non-stick spray just to help even more. And also, you will need a um, candy thermometer. Okay, so let's just go ahead. My kids are going to be helping me make this, so stay tuned. These are my two helpers. On the left is Scarlett, and on the right is Sarah, and they're going to be helping make the marble glass candy, so stay tuned. Okay, so the first step is to spray your baking sheet with cooking spray, and um, on the recipe it says they use a 12 inch round pan. I'm just going to use a cookie sheet. Okay, the next step is to add in the first three ingredients which is two cups of granulated sugar, half a cup of light corn syrup, and half a cup of water. Go ahead and pour it in the pan. Okay, we're going to add one more cup. Okay, the next step is to pour in the black corn syrup. Go ahead, Scarlett. Just hold it over. Oh, yes, I'm going to swipe it. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and put in our half a cup of water. Okay, now we're going to turn the heat to medium. And we're going to stir it until it's combined and let it cook to 300 degrees. So we're going to go ahead and put in our um, candy thermometer to keep track of the temperature. Okay, so now we're just stirring it to combine all of the ingredients, the sugar, the corn, uh, corn syrup, and the water. And then we're going to put in our candy thermometer. You don't really want it to touch the bottom, but my pan is so shallow that it's probably going to touch. Why don't you want it to? And we're just going to keep track of this until it's at 300 degrees. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use a smaller pan because I think the pan that I have out is too big for this. So I'm actually going to use what they used in the video or in their recipe, which was a 12-inch round baking sheet. So I'm going to get that pan prepared and I'll be right back. Okay, so we are just stirring our sugar and corn syrup and water until it starts to get translucent. Right now, the mixture is at about 150 degrees, and we need it to get up to 300 to the hard crack stage. So we're just going to keep stirring this until it gets to the proper temperature. I'll be right back once it starts to bubble, and then we'll pour it in the pan, and I'll show you how to do the marble design. Alright, our mixture is starting to simmer now and the temperature is about 200 degrees. We need it to get up to 300 and get to the hard crack stage, so I will be back when it reaches that point. 
Okay, so we're past the 225 mark, 225 degrees, and the sugar mixture has started to turn translucent. So I will update you once we get back to, or get up to 300 degrees. Okay, our candy is just below the hard crack stage, so we're gonna go ahead and add in a half a teaspoon of our lemon flavoring. And we're going to vigorously pour the, stir this into our mixture. It smells awesome. And I will be right back when we're pouring it into the pan at 300 degrees and we'll be mixing in the colors. Okay, so now we're going ahead and pouring in our hot candy into the pan. And there's a lot of bubbles in it. There's a little bit of water on the spoon. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and spread this in the pan. And we're going to add our food dye. And I'm going to drop in a few drops. And my kids are going to make a marble design. Don't touch the pan when you do this, okay, girls? Okay. Okay, let me start putting scrollets. Look at that. Okay, go ahead and use your sticks. Don't touch the pan, it's hot. It was shied. All right, we have our marble design in the candy and we're gonna let it set for 30 minutes and then we'll break it up and I'll show you the finished product. Okay, our marbled glass candy is set. So we're gonna go ahead and break it up in the pan and then put powdered sugar all over it so it stays nonstick. I'm going to go ahead and loosen it up. up a piece so you can see the marble effect that my daughters did. As you can tell it's really pretty and marbled. I'm going to go ahead and put some powdered sugar all over it and then put it in a container and you'll see the finished product. Okay, so I went ahead and shook this up in a storage container and got my um, sugar, powdered sugar all over. And as you can tell, it turned out really, really pretty. And I'm just going to store this in a glass mason jar. And then we'll just reach in and get some whenever we want some candy or something. So thank you all for watching and stay tuned for future videos.